Okay, back again to Sherlock Holmes Chapter 1, Eel Hunting. We're looking for one of Mycroft's spies, an ex-military man who lost an eye in battle somewhere near here at Warehouse 3. So, we need to be careful. It warns us. How much for the fish is the code word, and if we approach the wrong person, we well, might lose our chance. Here. Try not to mess it up, or you'll blow his cover. Insomniac, affable French thief, French forger. He's got a glass eye. We're going to pickpocket. Snitch. Why do we have to pay them to look the other way? It's not like we. Why do we have to pay them to look the other way? It's not like we can't just deal with them. Who's on the game's payroll? Coppers, keep on payroll. All right. Discussing how they bribed some policemen to turn a blind eye on spares. Okay. Well, it seems to me like it's the gentleman leaning up against the wall there. He's the only one missing an eye. Help me, please. Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. The informant was unable to reveal Panzer's location to me, though he did tell me that the eels reduced the number of guards at Warehouse 3. Uh, he could have been more helpful, but all right. All right, indeed. <clears throat> okay. He can be found on the north side of Finch Cannery in Silverton. Alright, so we need to now speak with Top Hat Jones. Here's Finch Cannery. I assume Top Hat Jones is the guy with the top hat. I can't seem to find the boss. Where's Penza? I'm not your nanny, you daft muck snipe. I need to get more men to warehouse too now, so quit bothering me, will you? Warehouse two, huh? I'm coming, Sherry. Just give me another second. Can you satisfy my curiosity? Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. Okay. <laughs> Everyone out street. Okay. So, I might have assume he's at warehouse two then. Seems like. <clears throat> While we're here, should we seek out the origin of the suitcase? Assuming, of course, that it this it's this side of Silverton. Near one of the fish warehouses that's stood right at the water. Bank. 
Excuse me, just one question. I would like to help a companion in misfortune, but I know nothing about this. Alright. I am going to see if it's uh, this side of Silverton over by the water. If I can even... Oh, this doesn't go anywhere. Must be over here. Must be one of these. Help me, please. Yes, friend. I know something about this business. Fish workers claim that the western bank of northern Silverton has a gradual slope that would accommodate warehouses right on the water. Okay. So we are in the right neck of the woods here. Western bank of northern Silverton. Such as these. It also says that there's research to do, but what research? Must be City Hall, huh? Do we need to go to City Hall before we do this? John, this is the spot. Let's see what we can record. Okay, this here and down here? Yeah, okay, good. We found a rope tied to one of the books. We pulled and a suitcase emerged. How do we know where to look? What am I missing? Blue metallic can. This doesn't seem relevant. Brown slimy flora. Brown algae. We were specifically looking for it. I think we saw it on someone. Someone nearby. I I think I can remember where. All right. Lead the way. Step, 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 step. Night, we saw a man with ink stained fingers and a notebook. A journalist, his scared look and hasty steps smelled of adventure. We followed. Another man appeared, he was casually dressed, but his haircut and posture revealed him to be a soldier. The journalist quickly changed direction. Okay, here we go. Uh oh, somebody was waiting. Another disguised soldier <coughs> cut the journalist off. He was cornered. We hid behind the barrels and watched. The three men argued. The soldiers demanded something from the journalist, but he refused. Their words grew louder, and someone pushed the reporter. Push him off. He stumbled and fell over the edge. 
Doesn't look After like he one fell. Horrible yell, he hit the ground. The soldiers vanished. We waited to be safe, then went to him. Okay, how do I get down there? Looks like I gotta go all the way up so I can circle back around. So I can just hop down here, that's fine. Broken ankles never stopped anybody. Blood was everywhere. I was in shock, but you kept your cool. You noticed that his shoes had a layer of salt and brown algae stuck to his leg. Those men demanded something from him. I wanted to find out what was so valuable as to kill for. And so we did. Made it public. The journalist Hector Jacobson. People built a memorial after his death. That might be a good backdrop for our picture. Let's find it. Same journalist that our friend was accused of murdering. So it was all done to cover up horrible things that the police and soldiers were doing. Um, we need to find out where the memorial is. May I ask you something? Get away from me. You got a problem with the way I'm dressed? What about you, tough guy? Are you able to help me? Not my problem. Oh, I am bored. Shut Call up, me when you John. find the answer. Fuck off. Can you satisfy my curiosity? You had better take a bath before talking to a lady. Oh my god, that's real. May I ask you something? Go find your answer somewhere else. Everyone's looking. Us, Sherry. Do you know anything about sure this? You know what you yes, of doing. course. Let me tell you what I know. Change clothes three times in front of you. People directed me to the small island between Scaladio and Northern Silverton, just under Thor Bridge. There it is. Oh, okay. So this is where I'm going after that, then. I slowed down. Wait, why did it slow down when I walked past Warehouse 1? Um, I'm assuming because if I choose the wrong warehouse, it needs to project some sense of verisimilitude. Alright, small island under the bridge. Small hole in the world. See that? Do you see that? That's not supposed to be there. You're not supposed to see that. I want to get down. Looks like I get down over on the other side. Cheap antique trainer. Huh. Here we go. There's, this, there's the memorial. Hector Jacobson was killed for his story, yet it still came to light. A lesson for those less noble. You cannot bury the truth. I think here is a good place for a picture, Sherry. Okay. Satisfied? It's a shame what happened. At least we finished his work. Is that it? Seems like that's it. 
Okay, then we just have the old shipwreck gate. Uh, we'll get to that afterwards when you're too close to our other objective. Um, actually, let me hop across here and see if I can get the furniture. The furniture freighter. The best antiques in the district. Yeah. My goods will brighten up your house. Oh, I spent my money. I, I knew I shouldn't have bought all the disguise shit. Um, all right, well, there is that, and we'll have to come back for the music box. Enjoy we your just purchase. just can't afford that. So, um... Can I just fast travel? Yes, I can. All right, we reckon it's warehouse two. Which is up here. Oh, which is over here. These crates are heavy. Um. Okay. Hmm. Should I go back to warehouse one and see if I can... Do you know anything about this? No, brother, I've never heard of this. These crates are heavy. Okay. Hmm. Is this familiar to you? Uh, I can't say I've ever heard about that. Can you satisfy my curiosity? I'd rather not talk to a person like you. Nothing personal. Everyone's looking at us, Sherry. You sure you know what you're doing? Yes, this is where I'm supposed to be. I'm just not sure how to get in there. Okay. Um... this fucking warehouse and when I start walking towards these two guys I do the slow walk instead of the running walk this is the right oh god did that appear before and I just didn't see it or did it not appear before great favorite part of the game wonderful who the hell is that get him it's your fucking mother Oh, 
Ow! Don't bother moving. You've lost. Take a rest, my friend. Oh shit. He's got a bottle, but I can't reach it. Ow. No more crime for you and the snuff's ready. I'm gonna hurt you. Don't bother moving. Give him the pepper snuff. You say, John, should I give him the pepper snuff? Do you think I should give him the pepper snuff, John? I am invincible. Oh, that's right. He's got armor on. Oh, is this, uh. <coughs> is this Panzer? Fuck you with your goddamn. Take this! You can overcome the brute now. I'm coming for you. No more crime for you until next month. It's all yours now. Go. The snuff's ready. I couldn't miss the party. Is the armored dude the dude I was looking Don't for? Please be. You so I can lost. be done. Overcome. Uh, don't give him the pepper snuff. Why don't you give him the pepper snuff? I'm coming. Take a rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. No more crime for you. Give him the pepper snuff. Oh, okay. Oh no, here he is. Okay. Boss battle time. I'm coming. Oh wow. Yeah, he's got a lot of armor. Knock this guy out. Oh shit, I already shot that one. Just die. Rude. Did I shoot out all of the valves? Apparently I did. Rest, I my friend. shooting them all out, but apparently I didn't. Okay, good. Thank God that's over. Captured Panzer, now I should report back to Yasmin at the newspaper. Do I have to? <sighs> Panzer is captured, but alive. Now, to report to Miss Sertle. Do I have to go speak with her again? I would really rather not. Cannot leave. There we go. Okay. Guess that's it. Um, Chronicle is there. <clears throat> Where it's always hidden behind that carriage. 
Hey, you horrible person. I did use the location of Friedrich Panzer and was able to apprehend him. So I heard. What a coup. Congratulations are in order. And a new article in the paper. Perhaps a sterling stranger squashes smugglers? How kind of you. I am sure, with little more thought, you will land on the perfect headline. Huh? Uh, with a little more thought, uh, you're no writer, Mr. Holmes. Leave it to someone who knows what sells. Uh, since you're here, Mr. Holmes, Catch how about an interview? Uh, strictly on background? Get to know the real you. Mycroft is right. Why in the fuck you know. would I do that? You have proven yourself to be currency, and he does everything not like but me. honest. He will tell you a barefaced lie without hesitation if it advances his cause. As for your request, I'm afraid the real me pales in comparison to your vivid imagination. An interview would do us both a disservice. Hmm. Perhaps it's best to let the mystery. Uh, now, on to other matters. We have another case for you. Are you interested? No, I'm not. I'd never hear the end of it from Mycroft if I declined, so please, Miss Sertle, fill me in. I cannot. Your brother insisted that the contents of this envelope were for your eyes only. I can merely wish you a clear mind and a fleet foot. Super. Missing shopkeeper. Mycroft wants me to find a book by F.D. It has red cover. John has challenged me with this task. One of our undercover agents disappeared a couple of days ago. Your task is to find out what happened to him and, if possible, retrieve the sensitive item he was carrying. The missing agent was last seen leaving his bookshop, which is located in northern Old City at the eastern end of Seto Street. Angelo Dondolo, a short man of Italian origin. He has a stack of books with him and wore a green hat, tattoo of seven stars on his right forearm. Sensitive item, a book by FD. It has a red cover. Okay. Um, God, I really don't want to do that right now. Um, Saints and Sinners is the other one. Let's go to the police station and see if we can find something on this. Can I get paid for that? Oh, a little bit. Not enough to buy the uh, music box? Yeah, music box. Well, hello. It's been a while since I've been here. All right, so it's a violent crime, hand severed. Um, this was in Silver... No, it was in Miner's End. And uh, Instruments of the Crime. There was a saw nearby. No. Huh. Subject. Victim. No. Oh. The priest who was murdered with his hand severed. It's a violent crime. It happened in Miner's End, the church. Okay, maybe if I do victim for the priest and instruments of the crime instead of the district. Okay, there we go. The victim, found, the victim found in Miner's End has been identified as Ale, uh, Alexandro Fancani, priest. Cause of death, blood loss from a severed hand. The location of the crime implies that the righteous gang was involved, but the current evidence is insufficient to support a warrant. John doesn't have anything to say about this, okay? Um... Can talk to well, I'm dressed as a gangster, so I can go and talk to other gangsters in the area and see if any of them will tell me if the righteous gang was actually involved. Is that what I meant to do? 
There's no fast travel point near the fucking church. Okay, fine. Um. Extra! Extra! Headless heel! The cheapest news on the island. Thank you. I don't know why I'm buying those. They don't seem to do me any good. I suppose they, I get a note in John's notebook when I do. Um. Kids. Looking for a tough guy. Someone who might be in the righteous gang or know about them. Um. Piggy, 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 piggy. And goat. Oh, and chicken. And a cow. Wow. And a goose. Alright, let's ask one of these guys here. You look like a tough guy. Is this familiar to you? Brother, you found the right person to ask. There's a yard behind the last two houses at the southern end of Carpenter Street and Miner's End where the poor and needy can always find food and shelter. The righteous look after the destitute, even when no one else will. End of Carpenter Street. Southern end of Carpenter Street. <clears throat> Carpenter Street. Southern end. Down there. And let's get down back the way we came. Right next to the fast travel point we were just at. Swear to God. Um... How do we get up in there? Back this way. Oh, this is the graveyard. This is the back end of the graveyard. You're not what I'm looking for. Go. Good. Oh my god, is there an even more southerner rare end? Okay, first let's get rid of this. Oh. Pin. There's a yard behind the last two houses at the southern end of Carpenter Street and Miner's End. So, like, here? Or like here, or like here. Where's the yard? Looks like yard to me. Guess not. Um, yeah, maybe I, it says I need a disguise. Is this familiar to you? I can't tell you because I don't know. Mm -hmm. so on the other side. Is it this yard? Ah. Okay. Um, there's some tough guys with guns up here. Is that your gang symbol? Help me, please. Uh, I can't say I've ever heard about that. Welcome, brother. You can always find food and shelter here. Okay. I think this man is suffocating. We must help him. Sure sounds like it. Tuberculosis. He has trouble catching his breath.
His dry hacking cough is getting worse by the second. So then, no. His fingernails are blue. Looks Toxic. like he's having an asthma attack. Quickly, do something! What the fuck you want me to do about it? I don't have an inhaler. Um. Medicine. Um. Okay. Guessing. Well, it better be in here, because. May the boss's word is law help the helpless protect the but don't steal from the poor, don't kill without reason, just okay. Asthma attack, asthma attack, asthma attack. Do we have eucalyptus? Wow, Do we have food anything food. that's food? The gang might feed them, yes, but out of whose? Different sizes, different colors, some clothes are new. Uh, what do we have over here? Fucking eucalyptus, fucking ether, uh, something. Hang tight, dude, hang tight. I'm gonna, I'm doing my best. Look, here's some medicine. Could be useful. Ah. Uh, ether. Aha. Ether. That can stop the asthma attack. What's the rest of this medicine, though? A strong painkiller, but it won't help with asthma. Nope. Acetyl salicylic acid. acid. Useless. Aspirin. Acetyl acid is aspirin. It's found in willow bark. So, that's why willow bark tea helps with headaches. Ether, dude. God bless you, young man. Phew, that was close. But you saved him, Sherlock. So, ether is not the ideal medicine for an asthma attack, but it certainly will do the trick. Uh, it's also a very volatile chemical. It gets you high as shit, so... Willow bark contains acetosilic acid, and that's why willow bark tea can be used to treat headaches. It's basically <coughs> aspirin. Um, Such insanitary conditions. Horrific. But uh, what actually usually ends up curing headaches most of the time is also the process of taking the medication, because there's three real main things that will cause a headache. Uh, one will be dehydration, one will be caffeine withdrawal, and one will be um, usually blood pressure related. And so if you take an aspirin, uh, let's say an Excedrin, right? You're drinking water to wash it down and that helps with the dehydration. If it's a blood pressure issue, the aspirin is a blood thinner, reduces that. And then usually Excedrin or other migraine medicines will also contain caffeine. So it's a triple whammy solving Various they different keep general records. causes of a headache. Impressive for a gang. I gotta say, it is pretty impressive for a gang. These instruments are of inferior quality, but in capable hands, they can save lives. I gotta say, they don't seem like they're a gang so far. This takes place in the uh, patent medicine era, too, which is why we have um, ether and... Uh, I can't remember what painkiller it said it was. Um, I was busy panicking, but that and medicine. So yeah, these guys don't seem all that bad. They seem to be feeding and sheltering the needy and providing rudimentary medical care for people who have access to zero. I'm not sure yet why they're necessarily my suspects in Is a murder. Is this familiar to you? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't know anything. She's obviously suffering from some kind of skin condition. And she has... Never mind. It's just her cuffs. The boss has a lot of work on his plate. We got an eavesdrop here. What's this? Okay. What actions will the righteous take because of the priest's murder? New recruits. Punish murderers, replace transgressors. The boss of the righteous is going to punish the transgressors for violating the law. The gang is now the gang is low on members and he is already looking for new people to replace them. Alright then. Is this a shooting gallery? That's far enough, little one. The boss is busy. But I need to speak to him. It's urgent. I'm sure it is. Look. 
There's going to be a fight in the arena today. So unless this building's on fire, it will have to wait. That can be arranged. Um, an arena fight? What do you mean, a fight in the arena? You're new around here, aren't you? The cretins who killed the priests will face trial by combat in the arena of justice. That's what you get for breaking the law. The boss didn't create it for nothing. Okay, I'm not exactly a fan of that in terms of the it's righteousness. Or the righteous is righteousness. <laughs> you think the magic word will do the trick? No. I hear the gang is looking for new members. I'd like to join you. Oh, there's not enough meat on you. We've no use for a scrawny weakling. I'm not scrawny, I'm just thin-boned. Besides, I know my way around a gun better than anyone in your gang, I'd wager. You've got some nerve. See those bottles over there? Go on, shoot them. Show me how good you are. Um, okay. Is that a... There's something blue back there in the background. You might make yourself useful after all. Go on in then. What was that blue thing I saw there? Not sure. Hey! Didn't I ask? I like how start. proving I'm a good shot means what I get to go in and there? talk to the boss. Sorry about the bother. Your guard took a little convincing to let me in. Not to worry, though. Everything's fine, except for a few broken bottles. So then what do you want with the righteous? I spit it out. I haven't got all day. I'm here to talk to you about the murder of Father Alexandra. Or that nasty business. Those responsible will soon be brought to justice. Why did they kill him? Killing the priest doesn't strike me as very righteous. Why did they do it? Every tree has a few rotten apples, doesn't it? They caught him stealing from our ladders. But there was no need for bloodshed. I gave no such orders. Alexandro might not have been one of us, but we were fighting a common enemy. This enemy being who, exactly? Poverty. Not who. What? Poverty, inequality, and justice. We follow our law just as Alexandro followed his God's commandments. What will happen to them? What do you mean by justice? I doubt that you're planning to turn them into the police. Of course I'm not. They will receive their punishment in the arena of justice. So you're going to kill them just like that? Watch your mouth, boy. I'm not a murderer. They brought it upon themselves. The law applies to all. I mean... Yes, but that's vigilante justice. The that's murderers not must righteous. be arrested, not lynched. Let me take them to prison. <sighs> Do you have some guts to barge in here and make demands? I don't know you, boy, and I don't care why you want to save their hides. But that is not happening. Listen, I want them to pay for what they've done, but making them fight for their lives is savagery. <laughs> savagery? So you think rotting in a cave, suffering daily beatings from the pigs, only to be eventually hanged and dumped in a gutter is better? No, that's savagery too, but that's... Justice. <laughs> Fine, but not an either-or kind of situation. Let the arena decide. Whatever you do to them, or they do to you, will be just. That's my only offer. Take it, or get the hell out. <sighs> I don't want to... No, I, I don't want to do that. I would like to avoid the combat. Um, I would also like to avoid playing into the power trip here, where the uh, the boss seems to dictate all conditions. Um, I'm not really comfortable with that either. Um, but I wonder if this is the kind of game where a choice like that really really matters. I don't think so. All right. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty to see criminals behind bars. If you make it out alive, I won't stop. I feel, I feel like this is the kind of game where if I had refused the offer, the case would end and they would have been killed and that's it. So I think this is my only opportunity to ensure that they are actually arrested. I'm coming for you. 
Ow. It bounced off the fucking... It bounced off the barrel and hit me in the leg. Don't cry, you'll live. He shoots me point blank, but it doesn't Too do simple. anything. On account of... That's in the middle of an animation. Take a rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. Don't cry, you'll live. Give him the pepper snuff. Oops. Ow. I will end you. Stun locked. Ow. Oh, Ow. Too simple. The snuff's ready. He's wearing armor. He's all yours now. Go for it. Okay, apparently shooting it once. <sighs> I'm coming. Take a rest. Give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming. Don't bother. I'm coming. Coming for you. No more crime for you until That's funny. next month. I'm just annoyed by you. I'm fucking reloading. Too simple. The snuff's ready. Combat sucks. Today, justice is on your side, boy. I give you my word and I'll keep it. My men will deliver the murderers to the police. To think you've saved their lives, eh? But for how long? The prison is unforgiving. And unlike here, their hands will be tied. Well, maybe you should add logic, prison sir. reform to what your long list of social justice endeavors. Are you. Goodbye. Hmm? Feed the poor, heal the sick. Shelter the homeless. Prison reform. Seems like it fits right in. Because again, you don't really seem much like a gang. <sighs> Locking me up. Is that it? That's it. Am I supposed to go to the police station now so I can interview them? Okay. Um, makes sense to me, I guess. Or I just needed to leave to finish the... Yeah, I just needed to leave to finish the, the case. How long have I been doing this? Almost an hour. What's our next moves then? Um, I got 51 monies. That's enough to go and buy the music box. God, it's so far away. Let's do it though. I cannot run. Why can't I run? 
It's literally not allowing me to run right now. Because of my proximity to the warehouse, perhaps? No, because now I'm... Now I'm a good distance away, and I could definitely run before. Um, unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Refresh your interior. Pick what you... My goods will brighten up your house. Music box. Enjoy your purchase. <clears throat> All right, let's go back to stone, wood, and see if we've unlocked any new memories for the Mother's Love quest. I still can't run. There's somebody here. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume. Correct. With whom do I have the pleasure? Emilio Estero. Happy to make your acquaintance. I am here on behalf of Mycroft, your brother. Really? He's on his way to Cordona. In the meantime, he requests your assistance with a sensitive matter. My orders are to provide you with the details. Why does this seem like uh, this is Mycroft's game here all of a sudden? It's like everything I'm doing is on behalf of Mycroft. I thought... whatever. You have my attention, Mr. Estevo. Mark Ridley, the son of General Arthur Ridley, is being blackmailed. Suffice to say, the compromising material is of a delicate nature. The matter is of no small importance to the Crown, especially given the status quo on Cordona. Status quo? What about the status quo? The Ottoman population holds a certain animosity towards the colonial rule. It's been this way since we took over the island. General Ridley made concessions with their leaders, but I'm afraid we are still teetering on the edge of open hostility. What does any of this have to do with what me? What does Mycroft want me to do? Retrieve the blackmail material? No, sir. Nothing of the sort. Mark Ridley is meeting the blackmailer atop the old city bridge tower. You shall observe from a distance. Then establish the blackmailer's identity. Do not attempt to arrest him. We'll handle it from there. Saving the best for yourself? Fine. There is a cafe just over the bridge that provides a good vantage point. Please report to me when you are done. I'll be waiting for you here, and remember, discretion is of the essence. Sure, whatever. The manor all to ourselves. Can you believe... You're still here? You won't believe it, but Verna's other idea was to put me in a dress. The fuck are you still doing in my house? Get out of here. All right, let's go to. I assume that the music box is in here. No, oh, as is. It the reminds me of my mother. Magnifying glass. This room always reeked with an acrid medicinal stench. Music box. And here is the reason. No. Okay. Um. I guess there's nothing. Nothing here. There's the. Fire I'm room. looking forward to learning to play it as soon as I have some free time. Is that it? Is this the painting that I just picked up? Or is it this one? Oh, dead plants I didn't see. My mother loved flowers. They made her smile. I remember we would bring a new bouquet every week to make her a bit happier. That's why we collected all the violet flowers we could find on the island. Please don't start a quest where I have to collect like a hundred fucking violet flowers. Okay, um, a whole lot of nothing then, I guess. Um, I don't 
jumped. There's only one more door. Um, down here. Another one. There must be something important behind it. I can feel it. Okay. Um... Man, um, I suppose that'll be it for now. Next time, I think that we will tackle the muse from abroad finally and uh, get uh, Mr. Vogel's quest taken care of, if for no other reason than to get this guy out of my house. Apparently he's going to camp here until the job is done. Is the other guy going to camp outside? At least that's outside. So that's what we'll get to next time. Which will be, I don't know when, but uh, definitely I will come back to this game. At this point, I feel like I've sunk enough hours into it. I've got like 10 or 11 parts, and I, I might as well finish it. So uh, we'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a nice day. Goodbye.